This video will cover the topic Evaluating a Rational Function. Problem Type 2. What's a rational function? A rational function is defined as the quotient of two polynomial functions, just as a rational number is the quotient of two numbers. For example, f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x minus 16, all over x squared minus 5x minus 14. This is a rational function because its numerator and denominator are polynomials. In this topic, we will evaluate rational functions for given values of x. Let's use the above example and evaluate for f of 3. To do this, we must substitute 3 for x in our function. f of 3 equals 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 16 divided by 3 squared minus 5 times 3 minus 14. Next, we will simplify the numerator and denominator by multiplying, adding, and subtracting. This yields 11 over negative 20, right? Exactly. Therefore, f of 3 equals negative 11 twentieths. Now let's look at another example. Given the function h of x equals x minus 4 over x squared plus 5x minus 6, we want to find h of negative 6. How should we start? First, we substitute negative 6 for x in our function. Exactly. This results in h of negative 6 equals negative 6 minus 4 over negative 6 squared plus 5 times negative 6 minus 6. Now we need to simplify our numerator and denominator by multiplying, adding, and subtracting. This results in h of negative 6 equals negative 10 over 0. Wait, that doesn't look right. Good catch. You solved the problem correctly, but we must note that the denominator is 0. This means that we are dividing by 0, and division by 0 is undefined. Since our final answer cannot be h of negative 6 equals negative 10 over 0, our final answer must be that h of negative 6 is undefined. That's right. Hypothetically, if we graphed this function, our result means that there would be a horizontal asymptote at negative 6. So that is why we can say that h of negative 6 is undefined. Okay, I think I understand this topic now. So to evaluate a rational function, we substitute the given value for x into the function and simplify. If the answer is a rational number, then that is the final answer. But if the denominator simplifies to zero, then our function is undefined at that value. That's right. 